is Sunday afternoon, just before one o'clock, September, September 17th. And okay. we are babysitting Junior and Lily. And we decided to take them both out for a little walk once Junior and Oman Pops all had lunch. So we're gonna do that and then we'll go back and chill. And Pops, I think, is gonna watch football. Anyway, and I'll work on my little bumblebee. I'm making a little stuffy, bum a bumblebee stuffy. If I can find the blog I got the pattern from, I'll link it below. I think, like hand stitching these days, with which they call slow stitching, and slip knots they call a magic circle, magic ring. Uh, they call it amaguri, I think. I probably butchered that, but anyway, I'll link it below. All right. I gotta put my other hand on the stroller. Hey I'll guys, be back. Good morning. Yes, it's long sleeve weather. I'm so excited. We're gonna be in the mid to low 70s all week. Um, so that is forecasted. Let's hope it stays. Anyway, I'm headed out to Joanne's really quick this morning because I can't get it out of my mind to get some blanket yarn and try making a giant amigurumi bumblebee. I made the little one last night. I did look up how to pronounce it. It's amagurumi, at least I think so. Anyway, probably still butchering it and I apologize. But he's the cutest little pattern from Hooked, Hooked by Robin. I will link it down below. And um, yeah, you guys should try making it. The little one I made, I made out of scrap yarn and um, it turned out so cute. So I just can't get it out of my mind to make a big one. So we're gonna do that. I also am going to, depending on how complicated it is, maybe I can get them both done today because the B is not super complicated. Um, but I also need to work on a stuffed bunny for Junior. So out of what's left over of his baby blanket yarn. So yeah, and then after those two projects are done, I need to make another baby set for my husband's boss, which, I've been saying that for quite a while now. I still haven't done that. So, baby's not due till October, I think. Hopefully. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, yeah, and the school next to us put up the electric fence. We fi figured out why. Uh, goats. So, they're using goats in different sections, you know, one at a time. I'm assuming you move them. You do one section, let them eat everything, then move them to a different section. Anyway, they're doing that to clear out some of the brush and shrubbery um, from the open space between the school and the residential area. Which they honestly probably, even if they're gonna cut down some of the trees, which probably they need to thin out the trees a little bit, um, they have to do the shrubbery first because it's full of Oregon blackberries, which have gigantic thorns on them. And also poison ivy. So yeah, that's a thing. So anyway, uh, okay, we're gonna focus on crochet today. We don't have Junior today, he comes tomorrow, and today I can just crochet all day, paint all day, draw all day, whatever I wanna do. I'm feeling crochet. I do have a few sewing projects I wanna do and some painting projects that are brewing in the back of my mind, but right now today, all my muse can think about is crocheting. That's all she can think about, that's it. As I've been saying for a long time now on my channel, I go where she leads me. And right now, crochet is the path, so. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey you guys, I spent that day crocheting once I got back. I did make the larger bee, he's already done. I'll put a picture here. He is so cute. That bee pattern is very easy to do and all I did was size up the hook and the to be appropriate with the yarn. I didn't change anything else about it. And that's the size difference. The smaller one is um, knit with a Karen mini skein. I don't think it's worsted weight. Seems like it might be DK, maybe DK weight. I think I used a four millimeter hook or a five millimeter hook. And then for the chunky, uh, blanket yarn I used a eight millimeter hook so double the size 
And the size of the bee, hugely different, but so cute. Anyway, now I'm working on a bunny by One Dog Woof. One Dog Woof is the name of her, the designer, the name of her um, vlog. And I'm doing the classic stuffed bunny pattern. Um, if I can find the link, I'll link it down below. I have one skein of our grandson's yarn left when I made him a blanket. So I'm using that yarn to make him a stuffed bunny. And um, then I will work on my husband's boss's baby stuff. Anyway, I have been avoiding going downstairs to do dishes <laughs> and just staying up here and crocheting all day. But I guess I should go do them. And I didn't edit the vlog today but it's due to be posted on Wednesday, which means I guess I'm doing that either tomorrow before Junior comes or after he leaves. It is, so yeah. Anyway, all right. It's a beautiful, mild day out. A little bit of a breeze, not too hot. I mean, I have sleeves on, so. We might be going to the gym later. I know the husband's going. My first instinct is to say bye, see ya but I probably should go too. So yeah, there's that. All right, I'll be Good morning, back. everybody. It is Tuesday morning, September 19th, just after 9 a.m. And it is babysitting day, but we are going to make a quick run to Hobby Lobby because I'm not expecting him for at least another hour, if not a little longer. So we're going to go do that. I still haven't edited the vlog this week. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know it's not my favorite thing to video edit, just FYI, which is why generally I film for the edit, meaning there's a lot of breaks and I put a lot of clips together because I just really dislike editing. Um, if you're new here, just FYI, I hate video editing. <laughs> I am a creative channel, but I guess I also am a life vlogger. Uh, for those of us who are aging and trying to live life, getting used to being older and helping our kids take care of their kids and working our creativity and things we want to do in life into that, welcome, because yeah, that's what I've become all about. Anyway. I've barely left the art room all day today and I can't say I'm mad about it. <laughs> anyway, it is Wednesday, September 20th, I think. I got that right the first time. <laughs> it's around 4.30ish PM and I've been up here in the art room crocheting and stuff all day. Yes, um, I made two more uh, Amaguri, Amaguri, still butchering that name. Um, yeah, penguins. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're so cute. What am I going to do with all of these? I have no idea, but I have two empty, two, I have two guest rooms up here, so I might end up getting full with amaguris. Uh, anyway, the penguins are very cute. I use this sort of rainbow colored chenille yarn or what's the modern term blanket yarn um this is from hobby lobby and the white i already had and it takes two skeins their skeins are a little smaller so it took two um and this is just leftover um inexpensive worsted weight acrylic i mean even if you just do the little ones i used the same exact pattern for both the only thing is i altered the the hook size to coordinate with the yarn i was going to use and this I used a five millimeter hook. And on that one, I used an eight. That's, that's the only difference between these two. 
So anyway, and the pill, the stuffing is I've had from an old pillow in the closet for like 5 million years. So I'm using it. Yay. All right. I was also going to add for those of you out there who do these little crafty crochet projects, there's a lot of different brands of mini skeins of acrylic yarn out there. Um, when you're doing these little tiny stuffies and stuff like that, you don't need a big giant um, skein of yarn. You can get these little minis. And um, I occasionally see them at the craft store, but honestly, it's easier to just uh, order them at Amazon. Um, Karen makes a mini acrylic yarn. You can get a rainbow pack of colors. It's very inexpensive. This is my favorite brand. There is another one. And of course I took my glasses off. I don't know why I did that. The brand is Mira. The colors are great. The yarn's not bad, but when you're doing the little stuffies, because I got to stop butchering that other, the Japanese name. Anyway, when you're doing the little stuffies, this can kind of be a little bit of a pain to work with because it, it wants to split all the time. Um, this one is great for a little mini acrylic yarn. It's fabulous. So, and great to make these little stuffies out of. You can use safety eyes or not. Um, Lion, of course, has their little mini skeins, which are great too. I don't need to buy more mini skeins, but I'll put a link for the Karen ones down below. Anyway, if you're interested, okay, I'll be back. everybody it is thursday morning september 21st just before 11 a.m junior is going to be here pretty soon you see i each did a thing on my chin and now yeah anyway um i got scheduled posts for october for the facebook group and patreon done just now i have to prep october's journal and film an rc trio video um and um that's on my list to do, hopefully, before Saturday. We'll see if I manage that, but hopefully. Which means tomorrow. Just FYI, because I'm babysitting today. Um, I also went through a bunch of old crochet patterns. I um, sorted out what I'm going to keep and put in my binder system downstairs and what's going to go away. Um, I also knew after crocheting up here yesterday that my corner with my chair in it needed a light because I was working at least in part with black yarn and if you're of an age well or not because uh, I've had this problem for a long time black on black whether it's crochet or embroidery or what it, that's really hard to deal with um, without great lighting especially so I realized I needed a light and I'm thinking crap I've got to go find a light I wonder if I can thrift one and then I'm like hold the phone I have an extra filming light it's really bright I pulled out the chair, I swept the floor, I cleaned back there, and that's perfect. There's an outlet there for one cord for my tablet when I have it over here, which I do more often than not, and it needs charging. And um, that solved that problem just beautifully, I have to say. Um, and the light's adjustable as far as angle and height, so yeah, it's going to be great. Anyway, yeah, I, gotta, I feel like I... Didn't do a whole lot, but got a lot accomplished at the same time. So anyway, it's time to go downstairs, prep some snacks, and take some supplements because once Junior's here, my hands are full. I'll be back.
Friday morning, September 22nd, uh, 9.27 a.m. It's only 55 degrees out, so I've got my plaid on. Yay! Also, put a bunch of bracelets on. I just felt like it, so hair's still wet, but that's okay. We're going to go run some errands. Um... When I was at Hobby Lobby the other day, the lady said, come back Friday. She didn't exactly say why, although I was just buying yarn. I don't know if they were just putting out new yarn today or if something else was going on, but I need to go to Safeway anyway, and there's one down there. So we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and then Safeway. So yeah, cause you know, the whole family loves jelly beans. It's a thing when they come over, and now that, you know, they're coming over more than once a week, we run out of jelly beans more frequently, and yeah. And yeah, this is what happens. I get a little, like, itchy spot, and I itch it, and then it turns into this. It'll go away eventually, but yeah. Fun times! Anyway, so we're going to go... We look not quite awake yet. Mm. Might be a reason for that. Anyway... We are headed over to the kids' house to help with the addition, the construction of their addition. Bob is going to help with the actual construction. I'm best staying off a ladder and away from hammers because I'll just hurt myself. So I am tasked with babysitting, which is fine. It also happens to be daughter Rebecca's birthday. Everybody wish her happy birthday. Um, I'm going to babysit because she's going to go off. She's not working. She's going to go off and spend the day with adopted sister Jenny, which is fabulous. And they're going to just spend the day together, wine tasting and oh, all sorts of things. Low tire. Uh, sure. Okay. Hopefully no nails in the tire. 29 in the front right. Anyway, so we're going to go. Whoa. Oops. He, well, he's also speeding. I know. Um, anyway, we're going to go run a couple of errands and then head over to the house. Hopefully, you know, we don't run into any more speeders like just happened. But anyway, all right, I'll be back. Okay, let's try this one more time. It's been a long day. It's about a quarter to seven in the evening and it was a fairly successful day working on the kids' construction project. They got most everything that done that needed to be done. There are a few things left to do, but it started raining because we here in Oregon are headed into the rainy season and whether they'll get the rest of it done or not, before Polly is his parent, head back to California. I don't know, that's debatable. Uh, little Junior is teething already. He's five and a half months and he's got two teeth coming in. So that was fun, <laughs> but no, he was good. He's a good little baby. I'm watering the plants because I forgot to do that before I left this morning. And so I'm trying to get all the plants watered because you know, I'm not great with them in the first place, but if I forget to water them, that doesn't help. <laughs> All right, hang on. Everything's watered. I do have a couple that look like they're dying, but you know, they've got water at least. Um, I also did order some yarn from Michael's that I couldn't find in the stores. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with making any more stuffed animals. It is cotton blend yarn and I, and I couldn't find the color and or any of this in the store, so I ordered it. This is, they're by Karen, I think they're all by Karen. And they, this is a Blossom Cakes, which is a cotton acrylic blend. And I got it in the color, does it have a color name? Radiant Rainbow. I got two, I should, I should have gotten enough to do sweaters by getting two cakes, the, theoretically. Um, I got, Karen Cotton Cakes, and this is a cotton, is this is all cotton, cotton. They're both cotton acrylic blends, so that's interesting. Yeah, this one's a lot softer and fuzzier. This one actually feels like it could be 100% cotton. 
and this and they're both 60 well this one's 60 40 60 percent cotton the other one is 61 anyway I got it in this color nice neutral color I got two and each one of these has 530 yards of that one um, this one has 481 and I have a number of patterns that need 800 to a thousand yards to do the sweater um, and these are for like tank top type sweaters without sleeves so that should work here's the second one of those and then the other color I got is called mm -hmm. beach glass this neutral one is called what is it called lighthouse so i couldn't find these at the local shops they might have had it i couldn't find it but i knew that's gonna just have to sit there i knew the fiber content i wanted and um you know i'm not a natural fiber snob i hate to say that picky natural fiber person i don't mind working with some acrylics as long as they're good quality acrylics not a red heart fan nothing wrong with it but it's, i'm not a fan of working with it um but yeah these are nice and um i like the um karen brand bernay is also a good one um and yeah i think i'll like working with those so anyway <sighs> we are all done for the day and the week so how has your week been i hope it's been a good one why is that open <laughs> I hope it's been a good one. I hope you've had a good week and a good day. And, um, you know, that you go forward just being create your creative self. Some weeks, if you're like me, you're going to get more done than others. You know, life happens and that take, your family takes priority. And that means that um, we can't always be as creative as we want. But I do make notes. And on my tablet, on, on my phone on a piece of paper if I need to, of projects that I want to work on or come back to. And sometimes it takes me a while to come back to them, but I do eventually. So that's something to keep uh, in mind if you're like me and you're just really busy right now. Anyway, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. If you guys want um, channels or websites, for crocheting content specifically and pattern ideas. Uh, favorites of mine, I can create a list for you all. Let me know, I can put it in the community tab and uh, let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. Um, needlework and crochet are my first things I did being creative. I learned them from my grandmother, my dad's mom. And um, I remember wanting to learn how to crochet lace, but she said, first you need to learn how to hem the handkerchief and then you can put the la the crochet the lace on it. And you couldn't hem the handkerchief on the machine, you had to do it by hand. She was yeah, old school. But anyway, I remember it fondly. So anyway, I love coming back to my roots and yes, I'm, you know, uh, creating, you know, stuffies, I don't know. Anyway, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. If you have specific things you'd like to see on the channel, let me know. Send me some ideas. And um, don't forget to check the video description for relevant links. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. If you want to support the free content, you can join over on Patreon. It's not very expensive, and I do provide some free content over there. And they have their own private YouTube channel and a chat with me. So there's that. All right, that's it for today. I'm going to drink my broth, maybe have a cup of iced coffee, and just sit and chill. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Oh, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Thought I'd forget, didn't you? All right, I'll be back. Bye.